Nikki, what's the best approach to manage your staff resources during a recession? Okay, now this is a very tricky, difficult area. First of all, step away from the business and think about in perfect circumstances, how you would like to manage your resourcing. So for example, do you need to have 100% employees? Are there certain areas either that where you can use outsourcing either for a whole department, perhaps you might want to just remove a whole department, for example, so for IT or accounting and outsource, or do you, are you able to do some sort of hybrid mix? I've worked in various businesses that are really good at this. So they will know what their minimum staffing level requirements are and always keep those. And then for growth periods, they will use an agile mix of contracting, outsourcing, and in extra employees. By understanding what that mix should be for your business, that will help you to be more agile. The best thing for you to do for the recession, assuming that it could be usually 18 months to two year period, which is usually the sort of cycle for a recession, look at what your resourcing needs to be and plan accordingly. Plan, plan, plan. That's always the thing that you need to do. If you can plan early enough and perhaps freeze recruitment in areas, this hopefully may help you by planning, reduce the possibility of you having to go through painful and difficult redundancy processes. If, however, you do need to go through a redundancy, always better to do it sooner rather than later, and also to make sure that the process is as quick as possible. If, as there often is when a business is trying to do redundancies, the word gets out, it causes a lot of distress and worry for the general staff population. By getting it over and done with as quick as possible, it means that the people that are staying, the ones that you want to keep, will have less of a stressful time because the worst thing that can happen when you're going through a redundancy process is find the people that you don't actually want to make redundant leave. So just to recap, find the right balance for you, look at the different options, plan your resourcing for the next couple of years in different scenarios so that your resourcing can be as flexible as possible.